Hi and welcome back to House Church. It's lovely doing this all with you, looking at the life of Jesus, looking at how we can become like Jesus. I hope you had a really good experience at this last week, doing your disciplines and learning from them. Um, that's, the, that's the place where we grow and we learn together. So this week what we're looking at is we're looking at the aspect of Jesus' life where he engaged with, uh, encountered and was empowered by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit sometimes is a mysterious thing to us, uh, but I think the key part to the Holy Spirit, and we're going to look at this in a bit with a video from Tuck Barna, uh, um, who's a pastor in Auckland, is that the Holy Spirit is a person. Uh, it's not uh, um, a thing or kind of a power, um, you know, like the, the force in Star Wars or something. He's actually, a, he's actually God, uh, and he's the Spirit of God. And so we interact with the Spirit, and we see Jesus doing this, in amazing ways in the gospel, um, in ways that actually we can do the same. Um, Jesus obviously had an interactive relationship with the Spirit, um, and he talks about that um, on multiple occasions. One that comes to mind is that um, uh, Jesus gets led by the Holy Spirit after his baptism. The, the Holy Spirit comes upon him in his baptism, but then the Spirit leads him. You see this in at the beginning of Mark's gospel and in Matthew 4 and Luke 4. Um, he gets led by the Spirit into the wilderness. There's a formational, relational thing that goes on where Jesus spends time with the Holy Spirit. Um, but when he returns from uh, being uh, in the desert and being tempted by Satan, um, what happens is he comes back to Nazareth. And in Luke chapter 4, we have this beautiful moment where um, Jesus opens the scroll and he teaches and he says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he's anointed me to bring good news to the poor to release the captives, um, to, you know, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, and um, some wonderful things he teaches. But the thing that I want to point out is that he does that by being anointed by the Spirit. He says, this has been fulfilled in your hearing. He has an interactive relationship with the Spirit, which guides his life. He's been guided into the wilderness. He's been guided back to Nazareth. He's been guided in his teaching and with his manifesto that he declares at Nazareth. This is what I've come to do. I've come to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor release and um, and joy and good news to everyone and we see that again in uh, multiple times and um, Luke particularly highlights that in his gospel um, uh, you know have that moment in Luke chapter 10 where, where Jesus dances and sings and celebrates in the Holy Spirit there's something there of uh, an interactive relationship with with the, the third person of the Trinity that empowers Jesus to do what Jesus does and then probably our deepest and clearest insight of what the Holy Spirit is and how Jesus interacts with it is when and we see that in John's Gospel when Jesus is in the upper room in, in particularly John 14 and 15 and there he unpacks how uh, he and the Spirit are one that he and the Father are made one in the Spirit and the Spirit's going to come uh, to us and this is what we celebrate at Pentecost the Spirit's going to come to us and empower us as disciples and he's going to fill us and direct us and guide us and comfort us and transform us. And there's all sorts of implications to that which you can see poured forth out through the rest of the New Testament as the early church tries to figure out how they live in this life with the Holy Spirit. And so um, uh, you're going to have a little bit more teaching from Tuck Barner in a minute and then uh, there's a Bible reading to read as well for you to discuss. Um, but this week I really encourage you to take up the disciplines to encounter the Holy Spirit. What we're not talking about here is um, theory or ideas about what the Spirit's like. Actually, the Holy Spirit is a person. And so we want for you to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit. And so I pray that that is what happens this week. Bless you and have a great week.